week's episode of Dirt Grinder. Your host here. We're going to switch gears a little bit, get off the dirt bike. We're going to hit the street. I go ahead and get out on the sport bike today, vlogging about a little bit of sports. The Western Conference playoffs are here, and they're live with the Warriors playing the Spurs and the Cavs playing the Celtics. Game one in the Western Conference Finals, there's a little bit of a controversy between Kawhi Leonard and Machulia. My vlog is solely talking about that, wanting to know your guys' opinions. So please stay tuned, watch the vlog, comment below what you guys think your opinion are. I'm going to get back. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I, I love talking about this stuff. Obviously, it is all of our opinions, but it's good stuff to talk about because it affects sport fans. Maybe you're a Spurs fan, maybe you're a Warriors fan, and uh, it plays an outcome on how your team produces and progresses in the playoffs. Let's go ahead and get out on the road. I do am going to do a video coming up with the sport bike, kind of a review of my ZX6R, what I think about it, how I like it, and uh, the goods, pros, and cons of it. At least from my knowledge, I'm not a big sport bike rider, but I can give you the best that I can of off riding just a few of them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get out on the riot road and uh, get into this uh, little bit of controversy here between Kawhi Leonard and Pachulia. I'm sitting down here looking at the time and I see 5.04, and all I can think right now is, shit, I gotta be back and uh, watch the Cavs game, play the, play the Celtics there. Huge Cleveland fan. Gotta watch my boys take on the Celtics and hopefully maybe get another win in game two. One thing I wanna bring up since we're out here, I'm vlogging, I got stuff to talk about and I got time to talk. What are you guys' thoughts on the playoffs this year? And I'm not talking about just the Cleveland side or anything like that, I've been watching all the playoffs. I'm a basketball guy. I want to know what you guys have thought as far as the most recent controversy that the NBA's faced in the playoffs here is the impact of the altercation or incident, what have you. I don't know what you guys want to call it. I want to hear what you guys think. Basically from Kawhi Leonard taking the jump shot, Zaza Pachulia coming underneath, closing out on the shot and he happens to get underneath. Now, it's, it's, it's so hard and I, I can see the aspect from the NBA of why they have such a difficulty refing this stuff and coming up with a solution to this because the NBA's changed. You know, and I'm not, I'm not the oldest person in the world and I don't know the details about what it was like when Jordan played, what it was like in the 90s, even the 80s and the 70s. Like I wasn't alive during the 80s and the 70s, so I, I'm not gonna speak on that, but from what I've seen when I started watching the basketball in the early 2000s, a little bit's changed. Now, the biggest thing is the officiating. Officiating is completely different from what it was even 10 years ago. I mean, there's so much talent, great players that are on multiple different teams. You don't have a standout superstar, though we have our few in LeBron James, Westbrook, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, like all these guys, yeah, they're, they're superstars. Now we have so many more than I feel like we did back then. It's making it more difficult for your teams to officiate. <laughs> You're dealing with it on every single game. Every single team has a guy that you need to baby, you know, that may draw more calls than the average Joe. Like, you tell me like on the Cavaliers, if you bring Dante Jones off the bench, have him get the same stuff. Do you think he's going to get the same calls as LeBron James? Without a doubt, no. Like, it's just, that's not how it works. But to get back on Kawhi Leonard and uh, Zaza Pachulia, like, what do, you, what do you guys feel? Do you feel that <laughs> basically what Zaza did to uh, Leonard, do you think it was possibly like an intentional act just to see what would happen? Maybe to get him out like he is? You know, he missed game two. He missed the end of game one, which I, without a doubt, in my mind, the Spurs would have won had Kawhi Leonard been remained in the lineup what are your what are your guys' thoughts um, I want to hear from you guys uh, my opinion um, and it's solely my opinion why Leonard was going up for a shot Zaza closed out now did Zaza make that extra dip or extra effort to go a little bit further yeah I mean he planted he planted fine I felt like he didn't have to take the next step but at the same time if the momentum's carrying you, it's a basketball play. Like, you closed out, and I'm not a fan of Zaza by no means. Let's get that straight right off the bat. I can't stand the guy, and I absolutely hate the the Warriors and the route that they're in. Not because they're a good team and stuff like that, but it's the the cockiness. I mean, Draymond Green runs his mouth about everything. Kevin Durant just pisses me off because he went there. You know, you can't beat the team, so you join the team. 
And then what's going to be really funny is hopefully Cleveland can make it to the finals with them again this year. Another turkey just meandering across the road here. I think that's pretty funny. Looked like a hen. To get back with Durant joining the team, like I hope that I hope they just completely make it to the finals and the Cavaliers just put an ass kicking on them. One, Cavaliers are my team. For two, I just want to see the Warriors go down. I think it would help signify the Cavaliers' legacy, LeBron's legacy. His future is becoming the greatest of all time, which I think, in my opinion, again, guys, this is my opinion, my sole opinion, that LeBron will become the greatest to ever play the game. Do you think Zazas Pachulia should have been fined for his actions? Should he have been suspended? Should he have been a, uh, issued a flagger one, flagger two? What do you guys think? Because that, that's, that's affected the Spurs' entire ability to compete, really. Um, game one, they lost literally because of that play, I feel. Not, let me rephrase that, not solely because of that play, but you took out the thing that was really benefiting the uh, Spurs in that game, and that's Kawhi Leonard. And then you take him out for game two to where he can't even play. And then he's questionable for game three coming up. Let me know. Put it in the comments below. I want to hear your opinions. And I'm serious, you guys. I want to hear. I will respond back and I will talk to you about it. I'll, I'll communicate with you guys. We'll converse about it. Granted, it's all everybody's opinion, but we'll have some fun and talk about it and see what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dirt Grinder. Please, if you would, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That's how we can build this channel and promote content in the future. I look forward to hearing from you guys and stay tuned for upcoming episodes.